You are technically my master. I can't disobey your orders. It's perfect. It's just like the real thing. I'll back you up until you're satisfied. Bringing someone who has already passed back to life. Look, Ryuki. Please just don't cause any problems. Let's transcend this world together. Worried about money? You're messing around, right? You don't really have worries, do you? Huh? Are you... bored? Are you malfunctioning? Obviously. Anyway. Since you're bored, here's a quiz. What three-letter word makes a girl a woman? Huh? The answer is H. I. Hmm. Pants aren't bad either. Meow meow. Shoma Enda. I know you know about him. Can you tell me about your relationship with him? Do you know someone named Gen Ishiagane? He appeared in your dream. The Nirvana Initiative. Is it some sort of plan? Tokiko Shigure is not a suspect. We can't detain her without clear grounds to do so. So we have to release her. I guess we have no choice. You don't have to explain. The images shown in Somnium are all displayed here in the control room. It seems you have many questions for me, but I apologize. I'm afraid I have prior engagements. Could you please visit me at my office again at 10 o'clock tonight? I would be happy to share more information with you then. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wait, where's Pewter? He went to see Toki go off. I see. So, what do I do now? Figure that out yourself. Hmm. 
We already did that yesterday. No more for a while. Why not? Come on, just a little bit. You think this is a damn joke? Don't make me sentence you to a panting! What? What is that? I know. I'll become a major leaker. Yeah, good luck with that. In that Somnium earlier, Gen appeared. And Shoma did too. So Tokiko definitely knows them. And yet... Could you please visit me at my office again at 10 o'clock tonight? Tama, what time is it now? A little past 1300. We have almost nine whole hours until the appointed time. Anyway, let's talk to Gen and Shoma. Where are they now? Mm, well, I can't track down either of them. Either their phones are out of battery, their GPS is off, or they're somewhere without any signal. Then we'll have to take a guess. Maybe Shoma is at school. No, he hasn't been there in a while. He hasn't been going to school? It seems not. Well, I'll get to that later. So then Shoma must be at home, or... Yes, yes, he really, he really loves, loves this, this Ferris, Ferris wheel, too. At the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. Gen is probably at his restaurant or the warehouse district at the port. He once told me he loves the warehouse district and that he goes there all the time to look at the sea. So we have four destinations to check. Let's get moving. Shoma, the director of Horidori Institute, Chikara Horidori, was killed. Did you know about that? Why are you asking me? Of course I know. A killer calling himself Terror did it. But he hasn't been caught yet. That's why. I want you to help me. Help me uncover Terror's identity. I'm sorry, but... Please don't ask about my dad. I don't want to be reminded of him. Why? Why me? What? Tokiko. Tokiko Shigure. I think you might know her. Then what about Nice? Tokiko is the president of Nice. Why does that matter? It matters. Terra is definitely related to the QR video. There's a high probability that the video was made by Tokiko, who's the president of Nice. So what? Leave me alone. Please. I just want to be left alone. I don't know much about that video. I barely even watched it. I only know about Bats 490. That reminds me, you haven't told me the details of Bats 490 yet. The rumor is, people who decoded that video message have gone missing. But they all left behind the same clue. I've learned the secret of the world, but you haven't disappeared. Why? Don't ask me. All I did was decrypt the code. I didn't go anywhere. The only thing I know for sure is that Bats 490 is an ARG. It's just a game, but the Nirvana Trial, on the other hand... Nirvana Trial? It's a video that's been going viral. It was uploaded to ViewCube first, and then it blew up from there. A bunch of people who watched it have gone missing. Ryuki, I found the video. Do you want to see it? No, I'll watch it later. This is more important right now. Um, just so I have the facts straight, this is completely different from the QR video and Bats 490, right? I already told you, 
Bats 490 is just a game. No one really went missing, and it had nothing to do with the secret of the world. But the Nirvana trial is different. It's not just a game, it's real. There's something seriously messed up about it. You've seen it? No, I was too scared. But people are going missing, one after the other. Tama, any information on these missing people? There are about 90,000 people who go missing in Japan each year. That means, on average, about 1,730 people go missing each week. This week, there have been 1,880 missing persons reports filed. That's 150 more than the average, but I can't say whether that's related to the video or not. Hmm? Initiative? Haven't heard of it. I only know about the video called the Nirvana Trial. I had my phone turned off. Why? Because there was no reason to turn it on. I heard you haven't been going to school. If you don't mind, could you tell me why? Huh. <laughs> I do mind, but can't you tell? I'm all alone, just like that Jin person. Jin? I read about it online. He had been sick for a long time. I don't know what his condition is called or whatever, but it was some sort of chronic disease. He was sick since he was young. Stayed in the hospital for a long time. Didn't have any friends. According to the article, he took his classes from the hospital. I felt bad for him. One is lonely enough as it is, but he's only one half. Sorry, I need to go somewhere. Wait, we're not done here. You can keep the door unlocked. See ya. I can't believe it. He actually left. What kind of person goes out and leaves a stranger in his home? <sighs> Nothing we can do. Looks like we'll have to get moving too. Ryuki, why did you come here? I thought Shoma might be here. I still need to ask him some questions. But it looks like he's not here. Looks like it. Hmm, anyway, no point in staying here. Unless you're planning on doing a ritual to summon UFOs. Maybe another time. Let's go somewhere else. Oh, Mame is here too. Why are you here? There's something I wanted to ask Gen. And what would that be? Well... Maybe she lost 50,000 yen on Pachinko slot machines. This isn't boss we're talking about. Well, it's better than having loose slots in other ways. What other way? No, you know. No, I don't. I'm not sure why, but she seems to be a bit down today. I'm sure she'll be back to her usual self eventually. Please let her be for now. It's all right now, because I am here! Half might! Half for all, we are full-time heroes! Hey, that's my thing! The 
It's a picture of Ganesha, the Hindu god. Is there anything you can tell me about the Nirvana Initiative? What is that? Is it some sort of plan? I think so. Sorry, I don't know what that is. Oh, it just ran out of battery. You're watching too much porn. Don't you have a softer way of saying that? You're watching too much porn. That's not what I meant. Gen, do you know a woman named Tokiko Shigure? Never heard that name before. Really? Yeah. Who is this Tokiko person? The president of an ideological society called Nizet Laws. Or Nize. Nize? You mean that secret society or whatever? Yeah. It actually exists? I thought it was just an urban legend. I thought so too. So what's that got to do with the case? So I tried searching through Tokiko's memories using a certain device. While I was in there, I saw you. I see. But I'm telling you, I don't know this person you're talking about. It could be someone else wearing the same mask. That doesn't sound... It's also possible that Tokiko knows Gen, but not the other way around. Hmm... Hiroyuki, there's something bothering me. Something is wrong with Amame. Yeah, she doesn't seem very energetic today. No, not that. Her heart rate jumped dramatically earlier. Right when she heard the words Tokiko and Nirvana Initiative. What? something about the Nirvana Initiative? Do you... know Tokiko? Hey, Gen. There's something I want to ask Mame. How do you think I can get her to talk to me? Hmm, let's see... Amame likes trivia, so maybe if you frame your question like a quiz? A quiz? A quiz... Hey, Mame! A bat and a ball together cost 110 yen. The bat is 100 yen more expensive than the ball. So, how much does the ball cost? The highest mountain in the world is Mount Everest, but what is the second highest mountain? 
K2. I wasn't asking you. What kind of pan can you not cook with? The answer is simple. Pan teas. Ah, oh, come on. The last man on earth heard a knock on his door. Who was it? No good, huh? The answer was a woman. Nope, that's wrong too. The answer is LGBTQ+. You're sorely mistaken if you think there are only men and women in this world, dumbass. <sighs> no response. I'm at a loss. Oh, I know. Maybe if you play that song. What song? One moment, please. I'll get it ready. Thanks, Genny. I think I feel a bit better. That's good. Looks like Amame is back to her usual self. It's doing all right. I can only do what I can to make my customers happy. But you don't want Matsushita Diner to show you up, right? Of course not. Yes, I'm doing prep work for tonight. I can't make the dishes in advance, so I have to start from scratch every day. Uh, did I say something like that before? Yeah, I think you did. I have fond memories of the warehouse district. I go there every morning, and... You always stop by there after stocking up at the market, right? 
Do you go buy stock every morning? Yes, since I can't store meat or fish in the freezer. And the freezer in the back doesn't open anymore. Why not? I can't find the key. The freezer is locked? Yes, though I can still use the refrigerator, so I'm able to manage for now. It was nothing. Did you get jilted or something? No, I... I just... Lost 50,000 yen on Pachinko! See? You can't be serious. I was going through a very painful time of my life. It was so bad that I didn't even want to go on. Then, Genny played that song from earlier. You mean he wrote it? Um, well, yes. The title is The Flower That Blooms in Snow. He recorded it on a cassette and gave it to me as a present. Is that...? It's a portable cassette player. Are you familiar with them? This is my first time seeing one in person. That's a Vogman, right? I always have the cassette player on me with the tape inside. Wow, impressive. I didn't realize that not only are you a good cook, but you can write songs too. <laughs> uh, this is a bit embarrassing. They only know her name from the internet. I just love stories about the occult and conspiracy theories. And when I looked up Nice, that name came up. Then what about the Nirvana Initiative? I read about that on the internet too. It was on an occult news site. Supposedly, there's some sort of sinister plan by that name. But that's all that was written about it. Really, I'm telling the truth. Trust me. Hmm. We didn't get leads despite all that time we spent here. Neither of them had any information on Tokiko. But if that's true, why was Gen in Tokiko's Somnium? Anyway, we can figure that out later. Let's investigate somewhere else for now. Ryuki, why are we here? Remember how I said before that I like nature? The sea is also a part of nature. By the way, Tama, look over there. That's... You know them? Oh, no, not really. I've just seen them around before. Dressed kind of strangely, don't you think? Maybe they're coming back from a cosplay event. Excuse me. I'm sorry, do you have a minute? <laughs> you. Wow. Looks delicious. What are you imagining? Those are called mallards, right? You mean, bollard. It's one of those things that keep your teeth aligned. That's a retainer. It says, Okiura Fishery. Okiura is Mizuki's maiden name, but I think that's unrelated to this case. How do you know? Because I know! Ryuki, look! There's a flock of angry, finless porpoises over there! They're probably here to protest against microplastics. What's 
going on? What could he be plotting? None of your business. Ugh. I don't need to tell you anything. Nothing. You're beginning to annoy me. Would you please leave? Annoy you? Fine. Then I will take my leave instead. The day to take action is approaching, and I must stop the plan. Stop what? There she goes. What was she talking about? I don't know. Cosplay ban, maybe? I've never heard of a plan like that. Then maybe it's a family plan. Whatever the case, I think it's clear that that woman isn't all there. Let's forget about it. More importantly... On to the next place, huh? Ryuki, you look tired. Are you okay? After all that, we haven't made any progress at all. It takes a toll, knowing you've wasted your time on a case like this. Why don't you rest for a bit? I plan on it. That's why I came here. This place is always therapeutic for me. Hmm? Is that...? Leon. What's he doing here? Let's go find out. Oh, it's you. Oh, this? It's Alfrey. Non-alcoholic beer. I really love this drink. It was in that vending machine, so I got one. I like this park. It's quiet, peaceful, serene. I know the feeling. It's the perfect place to be left alone with your thoughts. I agree. But what were you thinking about? Oh, I just got a request from someone. I agreed to do it on the spot, but now I'm not sure if it was the right choice. I've been wondering if I should have refused instead. What was the request? Huh, <laughs> can't tell you that. It's confidential. Well, I don't know the situation exactly, but I understand what you're asking. You want to get inside that facility and take a look around. Maybe there's something there. Though I didn't see anything last time I was there. Oh well. I'll accept your request. So stop making that face, alright? Cheer up, please. Facility? I don't know. By tonight, he must have meant today. The night of the 12th, right? I would assume so. He did say he just got the request. Who did it come from? I can't tell. Hmm. Anyway, I'll be going now. Looks like you've got a lot on your plate, but try not to overdo it. See ya. By the way, Ryuki, about the Nirvana trial... Now that you bring it up, we haven't watched the video yet. Wanna watch it? Yeah, play it. What? I'm sorry, can you please play it for me? Very well.
Um... Hey... Ryuki? Are you okay? What? What? It can't be. How? Why is it suddenly nighttime? Don't you know? The Earth rotates toward the east, so... What was I doing all this time? You've been standing there? Like an NPC that froze up. Hey, what happened? That's what I'd like to know. I watched that video and... Then I came to and now we're here. Uh, what time is it, Tama? 21.30. Could you please visit me at my office again at 10 o'clock tonight? This is bad. We need to hurry. <sighs> Sheesh. No. It can't be. Ah, uh, this can't be happening. Daddy's job is to help someone very important. I assist and protect that person from harm. Yeah, Daddy's a professional. I won't ever let anything bad happen to them. Looks like he's not the culprit. Yeah, I think we can strike him off the list of suspects. I think it was around 1400. The president got back from seeing the police, returned to this room, then... I haven't seen her since. I'm not always in the president's office. I'm usually on standby in the room outside. I only come here when called. Tokiko has been in this room since 2 p.m.? She should have been, yeah. Has anyone entered or left the room? No one. Is it possible that someone was in there before 2 p.m.? No. I'm sure you're already aware, but the security here is incredibly tight. There are security cameras all over the stairs and corridors, along with the elevator and outside the door. It's impossible to get in without getting noticed. Ryuki, I checked the data in the security cameras. It's true that no one entered this room other than Tokiko, and no one left it either. Of course not. Who'd put a security camera in their own room? Yeah, that door is the only way in or out. The president informed me that you'd be here at 2200. So I let you through into this room. Then her body. 
Anyway, I need to report to the people at Nyes. Very well. Please don't let anyone out of the building. Got it. How did this happen? If, if I, I wish, wish to do, to do so, so, I can, I can resurrect, resurrect myself. myself. One thing is for sure. Ryuki, look around the room. No traces of blood. In other words, Tokiko wasn't killed here. The culprit must have been Terror. He killed Tokiko somewhere else, then brought her right half here. But how did he get in the room? We don't know how he left either. What if he's still in this room? No, that's not possible. I checked with X-ray vision. No sign of anyone and no biological responses detected. Then he had to have escaped somehow. I suspect the culprit's escape route and way in were the same. So, Ryuki, let's look into finding the escape route first. We should know how the culprit got in once we learn how they got out. Okay, let's investigate. Before we begin, I want to point something out. The side with the window is the south. And the waterfall is to the north. I know that. Why are you mentioning it? Shut your mouth! It'd be a pain in the ass if we didn't know which way was which! You should be grateful I told you! Okay. Why are you angry? Just zip it and get working, alright? The room is inorganic as a whole, so this really stands out. Looks like the statue is made of iron. This statue is iron, too. You spin this around, a secret staircase from the floor won't appear. It's Tokiko's right half. Just like before, it's been severed at the molecular level. The body appears to have been cut with the same instrument, and she was also bisected while she was still alive. In other words, it's highly likely that it was the same killer. Yes, that's why I said Terror is probably the culprit. The estimated time of death is approximately three hours ago, which would be around 1900 today. That's when we were at Yoyagi Park. Passageway behind it? Probably not. Looks like the wall behind this waterfall is made of tungsten. It's a material that blocks x-rays, so I'm not able to see anything beyond that wall.
There's something in the floor. Maybe it's a rail? It's embedded in the floor. This is probably an electromagnetic rail. It extends from the corner of the statue toward the pond. There's something embedded in the wall. It's a keypad for a pin code. But this frame is on there tight. It won't budge. Maybe there's some way to move it. The same kind of rail is over here, too. It's even going toward the same direction. Wait, what's this? There are metal plates shaped like numbers embedded in the board at the front of the desk. So you're able to see them by using x-ray like this. It's as if this was prepared just for us. Who would do something like this? Anyway, we can figure that out later. Let's focus on the investigation. Hmm... Is this...? What is it? Inside Tokiko's womb. There are traces of her having given birth. What? Though, it wasn't recently. It has to have been more than 20 years ago. Tokiko has a grown child? Yes, but there are no records of this anywhere in her family register. She hasn't filed birth registration, and there aren't any records of it in any medical institutions in Japan. There's something coming out of it. It's an infrared laser. Normally, it wouldn't be visible, even with thermo mode. But this place is full of water particles. The light hits the water particles and disperses, making it visible to the human eye. The light is shining toward the northeast. It's crossing the pond in a diagonal line. An infrared laser is coming out of this statue, too. It's crossing with that other beam. This one's shooting toward the southeast. this there's an arrow under the symbol and seven squares too if you detected it with thermo mode does that mean it's emitting heat it must have a heating wire or something embedded in it Looks like we've investigated what we could for now. Now, let's get to solving the mystery. How did the culprit get out of the room? That's what you're talking about, right? Yes. So, let's begin. The first thing that comes to mind is that rail under the floor. The electromagnetic rail. The rail leads from the statue toward the pond. Yeah. Do you think the statue moves along the rail? It's made of iron. So maybe it's pulled with an electromagnet. It's probably operated with a remote control or something. But I didn't find anything like that. Then, please... Tama, do you have a magnet? No, I don't. Besides, you can't move something like that with something as small as a portable magnet anyway. Hello? Come out, remote! Where'd you go? I won't leave you alone anymore, so come on out! Ryuki, are you okay? Ugh, why do remotes go missing all the time? No matter how many times you find them, they vanish within seconds. I wasn't brought into this world just to look for remotes! 
Let's calm down for a minute. You must have had a rough childhood. Take a deep breath. We can forget about the remote for now. Yes, we have no other choice. So, let's get right to it. No, wait, don't actually move it until we're shooting. What do you mean? I mean when we actually record this with the camera and complete the film. Why are you like this? Quiet! I'm the director, so you follow my instructions or I'll fire you! This statue is the same as the one we saw earlier. The underground rail leads toward the pond. Which means... If you make the floor slippery, I'm sure it'll move on its own. If that's your best idea, why don't I cover your whole body in motion and drag you? It's no good. Let's just give up. Where is this coming from? Well, there's this game I played a long time ago, and there was this part where you couldn't advance until you chose give up on the investigation. And this is your best idea? All right. Let's tilt this building somehow. What? Isn't it obvious? Objects move from high places to low places. If we make that statue's position higher, it'll naturally slide toward the pond. Do you build an airport every time you need to go to the convenience store? Well, there's not much else we can do. So, let's get right to it. You little shit! Don't make me send you back to the green room, damn it! Oh, right. We were still in rehearsal. I'm not supposed to move it until the shoot. Yes, we don't want this important set to get damaged, right? This is a set? There was an input device behind this. You already know the numbers to enter, right? Hmm. Even if I did, I would need to be able to move the frame. That's not what I asked. Do you know the code or not? In fact, I need you to know the answer! If you can't even solve this, you don't deserve to call yourself a member of Abyss! So, can you tell me the numbers? It should be seven digits. What? You telling me you don't know? No, that's not what I meant. Then spit it out already! Quit screwing around! You saw the non X symbol using thermal mode, didn't you? And... There were 16 numbers arranged in a diamond shape. You should be able to use those numbers to figure out the answer. Now, try again.
Yeah, good job. That's probably the answer. Probably. I mean, it's not like I actually checked. I don't know whether those numbers are correct or not. Okay, the rehearsal is now over. It's time to start. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to start filming. Ryuki, you're going to play the fleeing culprit this time. The one who placed the right half of Tokiko's severed body here. You just finished a big job. You need to get out of here, fast. But if you leave the conventional way, you'll be spotted by the surveillance camera. Same thing for when you entered, too. The culprit used some special method to get in and out of the room. Now, I want you to consider the situation, and whatever you might be feeling, use it for your performance. Hey, is it really necessary to act? Shut up! Okay, here we go. Ready? Action! I'm the one who killed Tokiko Shigure. I brought the body here for some reason. Now that I'm done here, I'm gonna leave. Terrible acting as usual. Give me a break. Okay, what did the culprit do first to escape? Well, there's that electromagnetic rail in the floor leading to the pond. It pulls the iron statue with magnetic force. The culprit probably used a remote control, but I can't find it, so... I'll try forcing it! Something happened. It's because it touched the infrared laser from the Southwest statue. Okay. So the statue was moved so it would hit the laser. What did the culprit do next? He must have also moved this statue with a remote. Okay, go. Um, the statue begins moving via the electromagnets. The culprit grins maniacally, his plan in motion. Stop! Hmm? Can you not read the stage directions out loud? You're supposed to play the part of the culprit. But what's the point of... Don't talk back to the director! Don't make me throw a fucking ashtray at you! Oh no! I need to hurry or someone's gonna see me! Hurry! Hurry! Move! Move already! Good, Ryuki. That's it! That's the performance I wanted to see! But like I said, the culprit probably had a remote. It's fine. This scene is where we show the screaming of the culprit's tortured heart in monologue. All right. This statue reacted to the laser too. I see. So this is how it works. So I just need to enter the number from earlier, right? Four nine zero one zero nine five. There. Look, a hidden door. It's more than a hidden door. It's an elevator. See? There's a button pointing down next to the door. This is the highest floor of the building. It looks like this elevator is only for going down. Let's try pushing it. Mm -hmm. 
Now we know Terra's escape route. And the way he got in. Terra used this elevator to bring Tokiko's right half into the room. And he must have used the same method to get out. The statue and Nanyapol X symbol must have been set up to return to their original positions automatically. Anyway... Let's go down there. What is this place? It looks like we tunneled to the other side of the world. You mean we're underground? Yeah, more than 160 feet deep. Radio waves are completely cut off due to the depth. We can't connect to the network, so keep that in mind. Anyway, let's start looking around. Maybe we'll find some sort of clue. 